Hey, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Welcome back, everybody. R.I.P. to Jerry Springer. Also, keep Jamie Foxx in your prayers because he's also going through a lot of stuff. But, man, Jerry Springer, bro, he was 79. We never thought, you know, there's some times where you don't think you come across the time when certain people go and certain people. But, you know, Jerry Springer is just another of those classic American. Everybody grew up watching on TV. We all seen the thing about Jerry Springer is that he had the entertainment for everybody. It wasn't just like one group of people where like a MTV or a BET. Jerry Springer show literally had people from all walks of life that came on. You got, I mean, I, I could get into details, but I'm not going to go that deep as far as the whole different things. Y'all already know, because if y'all are some real Jerry Springer fans who who seen all the stuff where the security had to come break it up. I'm talking about the people in the crowd jump on stage and square up and get served. A, they serve the people who's in the wrong a two-piece combo with a biscuit and a drink to go. And, and and Jerry Springer just let that all happen on TV. Man, this was it was a crazy time to be actually like, you know, watching stuff at that time because you would think that it would have been taken off or was it was not for everybody's eyes but you know that's just the type of pull that jerry springer had that's the type of dude he was where he was able to you know have his way he negotiated he was a businessman because you can't have a, a, a tv show that big you can't have a network that big and not actually be able to be a solid businessman like he had that show going on for a long time i'm sure he had to keep his, you know, I'm sure he had to, like, watch his back as far as, like, they were trying to get rid of it, and maybe it was too wild or whatever, and there's some certain times where he really had to grill them and tell them, let them know, like, hey, look, man, these people are doing this stuff on their own, I'm just trying to provide this entertainment, and the, the crowd loves it, the ratings love it, they're making so much money from it, and, you know, they just went on and on and on from it, and even Mari show, Mari show started based off of Jerry Springer, the Steve Wilco show, all of that. I know a lot of you people out there, you used to get home from school, turn the TV on, and, and, and Jerry Springer would be on, Mari would be on, all those guys would be on. And so they just as part of our, you know, growing up, and they just as part of our whole entire uh, process of aging, you know, where this is the type of things that you've seen, because you remember all the cartoons that you watched when you was younger, you remember all those other shows, the teenage shows, the, the whatever at night, you know, the cribs, and so Jerry Springer is just another one of those solid things, it's like, it's like Pit My Ride, man, it's a classic, you're always going to go back to it, there's always going to be those moments, those big highlight moments, and Good thing, you know, for YouTube so you could go back and search all of that and rewatch it and re-binge it because that's what a lot of people are going to be doing now. They're going to be searching up a lot of the uh, content from Jerry Springer and they're just going to want to relive those times, you know, sit down, have the popcorn. Everything was different at that time, man. It was a different part. It was a whole different era in the country. Um, it was before the social media age. So things was just like... You know, this was one of those, the things where it, that was the social media. You will go back to school the next day talking about, did y'all see the Jerry Springer when they did this and that? And people will be talking and sharing memories and sharing their favorite parts of the stories and everything like that. And it's like, you know, a lot of people forget, but it's like, you know, thanks, Jerry, for, I guess, you know, uh, giving us a little bit of time to enjoy the entertainment, have a good laugh, learn some lessons. And in some cases, there were some serious, serious topics that they touched on Jerry Springer, man. Like, for instance, you know, they had a lot of times where they had people from different groups that didn't see eye to eye, that didn't get along the, with each other, that were considered enemies in the streets, that if they met somewhere else and it wasn't the stage of the Jerry Springer show, that it could have been a, a, a like a whole brawl or whatever. Like, it would have been a bad situation. Riots and stuff would have broke out. But Jerry Springer was able to, you know, in a certain controlled way, bring them on stage, let them say what they wanted to say, you know, they got the microphones, they got the security there, 
they'd let it go down. If they really wanted to box it out, they let them box it out for a little bit. But before it went too far, before anybody did anything crazy, they break it up and it just sit them back down and just keep it going. It kept people watching. It kept them on their feet, glued eyes, glued to the TV, coming back again after another week, after another week, another episode and seasons on seasons on seasons, man. They made billions off of that, hundreds of millions, I'm sure. And so at the end of the day, man, that's a lot of work that Jerry had to put in. And so I don't know about, you know, a lot of times nowadays, now it's 2023 going on 2024. People are going to find problems that Jerry had and they're going to speak on it. People are going to find mistakes Jerry made and, and times where he said the wrong things and who he sided with the wrong people. I'm sure they're going to bring all the ups and the downs, the pros and the cons, the positives and the negatives of his whole entire life and the decisions that he made. Was he wrong? Did he do anybody wrong? Did he do anybody dirty? Well, you know, some now it's like a lot of people speak on those when people go now. And, you know, so at the end of the day, you got to realize that dude was part of all of us growing up when he had that big, big TV show. And not a lot, you can't get away from just not knowing Jerry Springer. Like he was connected with a lot of celebrities. So all the celebrities right now is like crying. They sad. And even a lot of rappers, they really mess with Jerry Springer. You know how many times Jerry Springer was mentioned in so many hit songs, so many albums. Lil Wayne did it. Busta Rhymes. I mean, you got all sorts of people who talk about Jerry Springer. And so that's how you know that his reach, his influence, the people that he affected, the people that watched him, supported him in one way or another, or who people who heard about him. He's a, the, Jerry Springer is a household name, man. And especially in those mid 2000s to early 2010s. And it was a time where, you know, people became seasoned to it. They they seen how, you know, the TV was changing when the social media came in. That's when people kind of stopped watching Jerry Springer. And, you know, they was they were out mobile. Now they had everything to go, right? You had you had your TV, you had your entertainment, all your news on the phone to go. And so people, you know, weren't watching Jerry Springer as much. People was growing up. Everybody had to get a job after that 08 recession. Everybody was kind of a, a start over you where you probably had to lower your cable package now and now you don't got the Jerry Springer channel no more. And so there was a lot of times where, you know, we watched Jerry Springer for a long period of time. And then all of a sudden, once things just started changing and the world started changing into the way that it is now, it's like the, the it kind of tapered off and you would catch some reruns here and there. You would go see some funny highlight key moments on YouTube and you will search it up. But other than that, you don't really think of it too much. It's just another one of those times where it's just nostalgic it was a, a period where it only would have existed in the in the time that it did and man it's just the looking back on all of it it was a big journey and so condolences to the whole Springer family Jerry Springer his kids his wife everybody like that and you know everybody that that's being affected by this just keep y'all head high and you know keep going use this as motivation because you know you could one day have a, a, a big show just like how Jerry Springer did everybody should be trying to get it right, get this bread, you know, he, he, he didn't have to, he didn't have to do no dirty work in order for him to, to get that as far as we know, and so at the end of the day, he ain't had to go do nothing in the streets, he ain't have to set nobody up really the way that people get set up nowadays, and so at the end of the day, it's like you can learn from that and be like, okay, well, if I ever wanted to, you know, run up a bag, like, uh, instead of being a ball player or out in the streets slanging, you can actually, instead of being a rapper or one of those three, you can actually be a TV show creator and actually make millions and hundreds of millions of dollars like Jerry Springer. And I mean, he was rich all the way up until his last few seconds of being 79 years old. He had all that bread and now he gets to pass all that money down. Millions of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars with his whole catalog now goes to his kids and his family. So they taken care of. So at the end of the day, Jerry Springer knows what he brought to the world, what he brought to his family and left behind. And so at the end of the day, I'm sure he's going to look back at it and be like, you know what? I did what I could. And that's what everybody should, you know, think about, you know, doing what you can while you're here and everything. So condolences to Springer. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you later.